Hello, welcome to my channel. I am here with a quick tutorial that I'm not doing. Our wonderful friend, Marsha Friend, is doing, and she is showing us how to use doll backgrounds and how to take the perfect photo with a doll photography backdrop. You can find the backdrops all over the internet. You can find them in the Grace Boutique. You can find them in Facets Boutique. Marsha has a, big, a bigger selection than I do, and she shows us how to use them, how to get some great, great photos. So we hope you enjoy this tutorial. Take it away. Hey, Marcia. Hi, I'm Marcia Friend of Facets and I wanted to show you this month's add-on for Club Grace. This month I did a beach backdrop to go with the beach theme. I don't know if you've used backdrops in your photography before but they're a great way to add pizzazz to your pictures. This one is very good for Grace and other 16 inch fashion dolls but you could possibly use it with other size dolls as well depending how you pose them. When you get the backdrop it's going to come folded. You're going to need to iron it. When you iron it, only iron the back of the backdrop and use a low iron somewhere between nylon and polyester. You'll be able to get most of the folds out. There might be a little bit still visible, but it really won't matter and it will not get caught in the pictures. Once you have the ironed backdrop, you'll need to find a way to hang it up. One of my favorite ways of hanging it up is this tripod backdrop stand. You can see the tripod there. I sell these at Facets. They are collapsible. They come with a little carrying bag. It's adjustable in height and you can make it higher or lower. I usually try to use between 26 and 30 inches for a 16 inch doll. Like that tends to give a good amount of background behind them. When you're ready to pose the doll, you're going to want to stand her somewhat in front of the backdrop. You don't want to put her right against the back because that will create shadows against the background. You can stand her on her own stand, of course, but I'm going to show you a little trick of photographing her without a real visible stand. This is a telescoping stand. It's from an older Tonner doll, but you can probably find other dolls that have them. And I stick it up her back area. And I make her into a tripod. She is able to stand on the telescoping stand and you can adjust it somewhat so that the stand will disappear behind her leg. You can get her positioned on the tripod so that she is standing and you can position the pole so that it's not going to show so much behind her legs or between her legs when you photograph it. And then you can take your photo. I'm going to show you a few more ways to hold the backdrop and a few more photo tips. The next way I want to show you is using a trifold display board. And this is something that you can get at Michaels or Staples or a bunch of other stores. It's very tall and it might be taller than you want for the backdrops. You can cut it down. You're going to hang the backdrop on the display board using binder clips. I love binder clips. They are so useful for everything, both in doll photography and in real life. The backdrops are about 24 inches wide, which is the width of the display board. The display board is a little bit tall for photographing dolls. You can cut it down to 27 to 30 inches, which will give you a good backdrop for your dolls, or you can put something underneath the backdrop to prop it up. Luckily, most of us have these around the house. I'm just putting two doll boxes underneath, and it gives me a platform and a very nice height to photograph the dolls. The last way I'm going to show you is probably the simplest and the most economical for most of you just simply using tape and taping it up to a wall or a cabinet. My cabinet isn't quite as high as I would like it to be. It would be better with a wall or a shorter table, but you can adjust that as you see fit. Another possibility is if you have a cork board, you could thumbtack it onto a cork board with a table underneath. One of the ways that you can use the backdrops is also to dress them up with additional props so that you can make a more realistic scene. Here I have a few things to give Elowen a day at the beach.
When you're taking your photos, it's a good idea to check the doll to make sure that hairs are not blocking her face and that her joints do not look unnatural. A little hair here. I'm going to move that aside. I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope they help you improve your photography with your dolls. There is a longer video about how to use backdrops and more photo tips on my website, facetsboutique.com. Rachel will share the link down below. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful month and enjoy Club Grace.